Hey guys, how are you all doing today? My name is French House Fanatic. Welcome back to the channel. And today's the big day, guys. Uh, today we are finally answering, or I am finally answering the questions that you guys had in my video that was previously called Ask Me Anything You Decide, or Future Video Number 2. Um, I actually got a lot of comments on it, which is really cool, so thank you guys for everyone who did participate in the uh, poll, I guess. And uh, I did wait a little bit. I wanted to just make sure everyone got their opinion in there, and then I did have to make a list and all that, so... Finally, I made the list. Um, some of the questions were really easy to answer, and some of them required, like I said, a list. Um, so I'm just going to go down from what I see right here. I'll shout you guys out, and I'm going to answer the questions. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy what I have to say. And again, thank you so much for you know posting your questions in there in the first place. It means a freaking lot. All right, so first, we're going to shout out uh, Theresa. Theresa. Yeah. Doing. What happened? You ended it. Go! Teresa's Millie's, isn't it? Yeah, what are you doing? Well, I thought you ended it. No, go! Yeah, the video is like freaking 28 seconds long. No, but you paused. Because I messed up. Go upstairs. Doesn't mean you come downstairs. <clears throat> and don't listen either. Hey guys, how are you all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic. Welcome back to the channel. And today is finally the day where I am answering your questions. Thank you to everyone who uh, basically left a comment in the video that was titled Ask Me Anything You Decide or Future Video Number 2. Um, I got a lot of responses, so thank you everyone who did, again, participate in this poll. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is just answering the questions. I'm going to be going down uh, from the list that I see on the screen here and answering them and shouting you guys out. So thank you, and uh, yeah, let's get on with it. So first of all, Teresa uh, Langenturn. Langenturn, yeah. Um, she asks, uh, top 10 lists of heroes in both Marvel and DC, and why? So, uh, this is, of course, one that I had to write a list for, because it's not super off the top of my head. Um, so we're going to start with Marvel, then go to DC. So first of all, Marvel, we have Wolverine, obviously. I love his movies. Um, he's the most B.A. character ever. He just got his claws, and he's freaking awesome. Too bad he's dead, though, um, at least in the Fox world. Uh, we have Shatterstar. If you don't know who Shatterstar is, look him up. He's really, really cool. And um, he was in Deadpool 2. Uh, he died really early on as, you know, the entire X-Force member, members died. Um, but in the comics, he's pretty freaking cool. Uh, we have Iron Man, of course. I love Iron Man in the MCU. I love him in the, uh, the games and the comics. Uh, too bad he's dead. Sorry. Spoilers, I guess. If you haven't seen any game yet. That's your fault. Uh, Captain America, same thing. He's not really in the MCU anymore, but he is an awesome character. In the, eh. Really, it's just the Lego Marvel games that he's a good character in. But then, of course, you also have the movies and the uh, comic books as well. Uh, let's see here. We have Spider-Man, which is really, really cool. Um, I love, again, the Spider-Man movies, Spider-Man comics. Uh, now that the MCU has Spider-Man, it's super-duper awesome, and I can't wait to see what they do with that in the future. Far From Home was also freaking amazing. I do have the Spider-Man game on PS4. have not started it yet, but I can't wait to see what's happening. Alright, so next we have uh, Deadpool. Deadpool. I love Deadpool. He's awesome. Uh, now, you did say heroes, Teresa. However, um, I am going to kind of bend the rules because Deadpool can be a villain, but he can also be a hero. So he's kind of like that anti-hero thing. So yeah, Deadpool. I love his movies. Um, they're perfect for R-rated, but I also loved Once Upon a Deadpool. They were perfect for PG-13 as well. I can't wait to see what uh, Disney and Marvel do with him now. Uh, we have Blade. Um, I did see the first Blade with Wesley Snipes. I thought it was awesome. CGI didn't, you know, age too great. It's 1998. What are you going to do? Um, however, now that Disney has announced they are doing a Blade movie in Phase 5, that will be super freaking cool, and I can't wait to see what they do with that. I hope Blade remains R-rated, though. Uh, next, we have Ghost Rider. Um, I love Ghost Rider, man. Johnny, what is it? Johnny Cage? No, not Johnny Cage. That's freaking... Mortal Kombat. I completely blanked on his name, but, you know, uh, Ghost Rider, he is an awesome character for sure, and um, I'm only forgetting his name because I'm on camera. But, I do like the movie that Nicolas Cage is in, Johnny Blaze, that's it, Johnny Blaze. Um, the first one is okay, the second one, Spirit of Vengeance, I actually think is better than the first one. I think going with a more comedic tone for a few scenes was kind of funnier and a little better, I think, I don't know. Um, I did not see him in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. yet, but I want to, and uh, he looks pretty cool. Uh, and then, of course, we have Moon Knight, who I really do like. Um, he, he hasn't been in the MCU yet, yet. He has not had any on-screen appearance yet. Hopefully, he will. Uh, I love playing him in the Lego Marvel games, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, and Lego Marvel's Avengers. <clears throat> also, uh, what is it? I do have a Moon Knight comic. 
I do know that. So yeah, he's pretty cool. Uh, again, I'd say that Moon Knight and like something like Shatterstar is pretty underrated. And then, of course, my last for Marvel would have to be the Hulk. I love Bruce Banner. Um, I didn't really like Edward Norton too much. He was okay. But Mark Ruffalo killed it for me as the Hulk. He was great. And the Avengers, Thor Ragnarok, Avengers of Ultron, all these movies. And, um... Yeah, he's a little injured now, but he'll probably be in more MCU films going forward, so that's awesome. So, that is my top ten for Marvel. Uh, we got uh, all those guys, so hope you enjoyed that. Now for DC. Number one, we have Batman, of course. First thing when you think of DC is Batman. Duh. I mean, that's that's probably the biggest uh, negative or issue with DC, is that the only character that comes to mind for half the population on Earth is Batman. But yeah, I mean, he's freaking awesome. He's got the most movies, most video games. Um, the Lego Batman games are fantastic, the Batman video games are Arkham, amazing as well. Um, but yeah, Batman's such a great character, and I hope, uh, Robert Pattinson does a good job with Batman, I really hope he doesn't F it up. Um, I don't know how he's gonna do it. Ben Affleck is still my favorite, though, so far, so we'll have to see if he tops it. Who knows? Uh, we have Superman, of course, Henry Cavill was Superman in the DCEU, and now he chickened out to play the Witcher, Geralt. Gerald, however the fudge you pronounce that game, uh, that game character. I don't play the games. I have no knowledge, no cares in the world for that series on Netflix. I don't care. I don't even have Netflix. Um, so I think that was a terrible move by Henry. He might come back. Who knows? Uh, I do like Christopher Reeve, the original. Not the original, but one of the originals. Um, there was someone before him. And, uh, yeah, you know, Superman, he can't really die. I mean, he can, but it's really hard to kill him. And, of course, he's so popular that he even got a friggin' horror movie spinned off with Brightburn. Another great movie. I love Brightburn. I can't wait to get that on Blu-ray when it comes out. If it's out. I don't even know. But yeah, Superman is such a great character and I love him to death. Uh, Aquaman. Aquaman was kind of a hero that I didn't really like uh, back in the day when I first got into DC. Um, I mean, I was like, well, he's just the guy of the ocean who gives a crap. But his new movie with Jason Momoa is freaking awesome. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say Aquaman is my favorite DC film of all time. Ever. I love Aquaman. It's such a good movie. Um, and I really hope they make a sequel, and I hope Jason Momoa stays around and doesn't chicken out like Henry. But yeah, Aquaman's a really cool character. He doesn't have the best video games. Again, he's in the Lego games, so he's cool in there. And of course, he does have the one great movie. But, I mean, the comics are pretty cool, too. It's a little bit hit and run with him, but still, I really do like the character, what he is. Uh, next, we have Martian Manhunter. Again, I don't believe he was in any TV medium, if I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. Um, he, he's in the Lego games. Everything's in the Lego games, really. Um, but yeah, I think... I don't have any comics on Martian Manhunter, but I have a few of him in it, like Justice League or whatever, and he's really freaking cool. It's too bad he was not in the Justice League film. Hopefully we'll see him in the DCEU going forward. Uh, Wonder Woman. I love Wonder Woman, Diana Prince. Um, I will say that the Wonder Woman movie with Gal Gadot is my least favorite DC movie in the DCEU. Now, that's not saying it's a bad movie. I love Wonder Woman. It just is my least favorite out of all the ones released so far. Uh, but I do love the character. Hey, she's hot, because I'm a dude. But also, she's a really cool action hero. She's got really cool morals uh, in the comics. She's, of course, she's in the Lego games, duh. Um, but yeah, I mean, she's also a really cool character in Injustice as well. I forgot about those with Batman Superman. I think most of these guys are that I have here are in Injustice. Uh, of course, next we have The Flash. Um, I love The Flash. We did not get a movie with Flash yet. We were going to get Flashpoint. That never happened. Ezra Miller is... He's an okay Flash to me. He's not my favorite, but I do love the character. I love Grant Gustin in the Flash TV show. I have not seen the Flash TV show. Um, I've, well, okay, I've seen one episode, and I liked him in it. So hopefully we'll have to see what happens with him in the future. I do have, I think, the first four or five DVDs of him. Right now, I'm still working on the Clone Wars, so I'll have to get that in the future. But Flash is awesome. He's really fast. He's a, you know, he's a uh, quickster, speedster. And, of course, in LEGO DC Super Villains, he runs really freaking quick, which I love. And, of course, he is on the, in the other LEGO Batman games as well. And he's also in Injustice. He's one of my favorite characters to play as Injustice. So, yeah, I love The Flash, and uh, I think he's a little underrated. Uh, we have Green Arrow. Yes, not Green Lantern. Green Arrow. The dude's a friggin' awesome guy ever. Uh, I do have the Arrow TV show again. <laughs> News Flash. I haven't seen it yet. Um, still working on Clone Wars. However, he's in the LEGO games, and he's awesome. And he's my favorite character in Injustice and Injustice 2. So much fun to play as. I love him to death. And he's really funny in those games. He's really quirky. Um, he has really cool comics, too. He's kind of like the better version of Hawkeye in a way. Uh, I really do like him. Next, we have a little bit more of an obscure one. The Blue Lantern, Saint Walker. I love this guy to death. He's super, super, super awesome. He's in Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. And I think that's the only game. I don't think he's in Lego DC Super Villains. He is not in any other game that I know of besides Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. And he features pretty heavily in the story. And he's a really cool character. He's my favorite Lantern of all time. And uh, yeah, just what a dope name, man. Saint Walker. Uh, well, you have Lobo. Going back to the whole Deadpool thing in Marvel. Lobo is essentially... 
the DC version of Deadpool. He's funny, he's quirky, he's bad, and he's good. And uh, I love him for that. Just a bunch of bass stitches everywhere. That's what he would say. A bunch of bass stitches. So, uh, yeah, Lobo is awesome at number nine. And then, of course, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, last one. I just had to make sure that was right. Dr. Fate. I freaking love Dr. Fate. He's in, um, he's in Lego Batman 3 and Lego DC Supervillains. He is in Injustice 2, and he's my second favorite character in Injustice 2. Um, he's got great comics, and he's just cool, man. He's, he's like the DC version of Doctor Strange, um, but he's really cool. It's like an ancient Egyptian type of thing. And um, one of my other friends actually really likes Dr. Fate, too, so we always talk about it. And yeah, great character. So, Teresa Langenturn, that is my uh, list for Marvel and DC. I could go on forever. There's so many more I like, but you did say top ten, so I had to make a top ten. Um, that might change tomorrow. Who knows? I know so much about Marvel and DC, I could change this list right now and give you a top 100. But anyway, um, the next one is Erica Klasinski, um, who asks, What are your top three MCU characters? Now... Um, this is a little hard, uh, but for that I'm going to go, I have no order for this because there's so many, but I'm going to go with uh, Iron Man at number one. Of course, he's the one that started off the MCU. He's the one that kind of ended the MCU uh, as, as far as the Infinity Saga goes. Um, he's just so funny. You know, he's a great character, great comics, uh, great comics. This is MCU. He does have great comics, though. Um, but yeah, I mean, his character is so perfectly portrayed by Robert Downey Jr., and uh, it's a shame that he's gone. Next is Tom Holland's Spider-Man. This is by far my favorite adaptation of Spider-Man, and that's why he's so favored to me in the MCU. Because uh, he's the one that he's the first one that got Peter Parker's character right. He's an actual teenager. I know he's like 21, but 22 or whatever. He's basically a teenager, and he goes to school in the movies. He's not an adult with a mortgage that cries every five minutes, and he's not freaking Andrew Garfield, who's like 29, who's supposed to be like 14, 15. That doesn't work. You know what I mean? So Tom Holland is the funniest, he's the best, he's the best looking Spider-Man in terms of, no homo, in terms of, you know, freaking uh, height and, you know what I mean, he looks like a kid, I'm not saying anything weird. He's the best looking Spider-Man because of his age. He looks really, really good for that Spider-Man, oh, and I hope that he keeps going. He did say in an interview that he wants to continue playing Spider-Man, and that's great, because he's not too old yet, and uh, he's not, you know, super old like Andrew Garfield or, uh, uh, what's his face, Tobey Maguire. Tom Holland is the perfect Spider-Man to me, and that's why he's there. Um, and then, of course, we also have Loki. He's my favorite villain in the MCU. I do love Thanos, and I do love the Winter Soldier. However, Loki is my favorite. Uh, he's really the first MCU baddie that I got hooked to and I started watching the, the MCU movies. And I did start the MCU with the Avengers 1. So that's probably why. But I still do like Loki. In terms of um, female characters, um, you did say top three, but I'm going to say Gamora. Uh, a, she's hot, but also she's really, really cool. And right now, she's uh, MIA right now in the MCU, so let's see how that goes. That's a bit of a, an extra thing. So again, top three for you, Eric, are Iron Man, Spider-Man, and Loki. All right, I'll see you next. We have Hamilton uh, McKaig. McKaig, sorry if I'm saying that wrong. I think it's McKaig. Um, you ask, favorite TV series? This is an obvious, if you have watched me before. This is Lego Ninjago Masters of Spinjitzu, or as we're going right now, Lego Ninjago. Um, it's my favorite show. Uh, I, I think Lego is amazing. It appeals to all age groups, uh, and you know, like I said, every every age group can get behind it. And especially with uh, the Ninjago TV show, with the Lego Ninjago movie, and the comics and the lore, the Ninjago TV show just how it was supposed to be like a you know a forty minute special that turned into two seasons that turned into now eleven going on twelve and a movie and all this cool stuff. Awesome video games. The Ninjago TV show is something that's very dear to my heart. And, uh, yeah, again, kids can watch it, but also teenagers and adults can watch it, too. It really is for all ages. If you have not seen Ninjago yet, please check it out. And if you also have seen it, um, please go check out my Ninjago tributes. I just recently put out Through the Ghost. If you have not seen that yet, check it out. There are spoilers for Season 8 through 11. Uh, basically, well, actually, Seasons 1 through 11. So if you have not seen any of those seasons, uh, don't watch it. Or if you don't care about spoilers, who cares? But, yeah, uh, Hamilton Man Ninjago is my favorite TV series. After that, uh, if we were to go into, like... Innings or double innings, I guess, I'd have to, over time, if you want to say that, I might have to go, like, regular show, Adventure Time, Spongebob, Simpsons. Uh, there's not a whole lot of live-action shows that I love. Um, I haven't watched a whole lot. I'm more into animated shows. Um, all the shows that I watch, I believe, are for all ages, like Spongebob. Come on, if you think Spongebob's just for kids, you're an idiot. Uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels, fantastic shows. But yeah, Hamilton, I'm going to have to say that my all-time favorite is Ninjago. Uh, Joey Berry slash 121, or just Joey Berry 121. Um, I kind of already answered this question in another video, so if you have not seen this other one, um, basically Joey Berry asks, um, what inspired you to create videos on YouTube? Uh, hope you see this. I hope you keep up the wonderful work you do. Thank you, Joey Berry. 
and uh, appreciate your comment and support across these weeks and months that you've been supporting me. Um, what inspired you to create videos on YouTube? So, I have answered this in another video, um, that as time of posting this Ask Me Anything video, I kind of had it, uh, I think two or three days after this one. Um, it's a little bit down the feed if you haven't seen it yet, but it's basically me reacting to my first tribute that I made for school, um, uh, back when I went to, uh, high school, not in college. And, um, the, the video was, uh, based on Skillet's Monster, and it was basically just like an amalgamation and mashup of different franchises that I love, from Ninjago, the Lego movies, uh, the Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, DC, Marvel, Kingsman, whatever. Um, most of it was there, and uh, it's a pretty, to me, it's a pretty bad tribute because some of it didn't line up right, and the audio was a little weird, but it was my first one, and I did get a lot of love for it, so thank you guys. But yeah, Joey Berry, um, it was really just school. I mean, I really, um, before I started, I, I was looking at YouTube, and I went, okay, uh, let me watch this tribute that's this one guy made. And there's there were always these few Marvel and DC tributes, that I would just watch, like, freaking constantly. i just keep going to them and watching them because it was so good. And I kept thinking, man, if only I could make a tribute because it would be damn good. And then a school proposition happened where my teacher was like, hey, I want you guys to make a, a music video. And I asked him, like, hey, can I make a tribute? Basically choosing a song and choosing clips and putting it to the clip, uh, the song. And he said, yeah, sure, go ahead. And that's where Monster happened. And then um, I found out how to make tributes on my own computer without the, uh, I guess you could say, like, program that I used in school. And that's it. So I really it stemmed from me liking tributes, thinking I could do it better, and then doing better. I think I do good tributes. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so that's it. Joey Berry went to me. One. Thank you for commenting. And yeah, it all started with uh, tributes, man. And look at look at me now. I'm doing a bunch of other crap, and it's gonna keep going. Uh, Jimmy Kitley, one of my buddies, says PS4 or Xbox One? Question mark. Now this is a bit of a tricky one because I've had uh, PS2 for a long time. But of course, you're asking for PS4. Now, I recently just got a PS4, I'd say, maybe a month ago. Um, and I have Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, which I finished and I freaking love. That is one of the best games I've ever played, and I will be reviewing it very, very soon. So keep an eye out for that for my Uncharted 4 review. Um, I do have Spider-Man. I have not played that yet. And uh, what else do I have? I have the Uncharted Collection, Nathan Drake. So I have the first three Uncharted that got remastered on that as well. I do have Killzone Shadowfall. Um... It's alright. I might get rid of it. I don't know. It's not the best comparing it to Call of Duty and Battlefront. It's alright. It's only like six bucks, so what the hell. But, um, yeah, I didn't really have a PS4 that long, and I'm going to be getting a lot of games for PS4. Jedi Fallen Order, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, and of course, maybe LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. But Xbox One I've had since like 2014, and I have so many games on that. I've, I've shown you guys in my videos. Um, I'm doing the LEGO Star Wars gameplay walkthrough right now, and that's on Xbox One. So, Jimmy, I'm going to have to say Xbox One. It's been with me longer. I do love the PS4, and uh, I do love how it plays, I love how it runs, I love how it handles games, I love the controller. However, Xbox One is just there for me in terms of everything else, so yeah, I'm going to go with Xbox One. Uh, let's see, sorry if I say this wrong, Niall Horusis, Niall Horsuis, Horsuis, Horseus, correct me if I'm wrong, Niall, I'm just going to call you Niall. Um, he is a Beyblade YouTuber, so if you like Beyblade, go check him out. Um, what is your favorite rated teen game? There's a lot of them. I love, uh, Battlefront. I love, oh, jeez, Uncharted 4. I love No Man's Sky. I love the Arkham Collection. There's so many. Force Unleashed, there's a lot. There aren't that many T-rated games. I know it's kind of, there, there aren't that many, but I'm gonna have to say No Man's Sky. It's the biggest game of all time. I love it. It's so freaking fun, man. I'm actually playing it for fun right now. Uh, not right now, but it's really, really fun. I love No Man's Sky, and I will, if you want me to do a, re a uh, review for No Man's Sky, I will closer to the Beyond update. They're releasing a new update called Beyond, and uh, it should be dropping this summer. I don't know what what Sean Murray's waiting for, but yeah, No Man's Sky is by far my uh, favorite rated teen game. Again, I love them all, but No Man's Sky takes a cake for being so big and so amazing at the same time. Um, Alan Klasinski, another one of my buddies here. Um, I know you wouldn't choose a favorite Lego movie. That's right, uh, Lego movie. Lego Batman movie, Lego Ninjago movie, and Lego Movie 2 are all tied for me. They're all perfect. Um, but what about a favorite Call of Duty game? This is interesting. I only play Call of Duty for the offline. So Black Ops 1 all the way to Black Ops 4. All those games that came in between from 2010 all the way to 2018. I own and I freaking love. There's so much fun. The campaigns, except for Black Ops 4. The multiplayer and the zombies that are in select ones. Uh, this is tough. This is really tough, Alan. I'm going to have to say... Okay, I'll give you two answers. Favorite multiplayer will be Black Ops 4. I love how that 
I love the impact of the bullets. I love the, the healing thing. I love the movement. I think Black Ops 4 is my favorite for a multiplayer. However, for a single player, I'm going to say Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I could play through the Advanced Warfare campaign, campaign millions and millions of times and not get bored. It's so much fun. Uh, Advanced Warfare kind of is a little underrated, but still, I freaking love it. Um, again, that's so hard, though, man. That really is hard. I love every Call of Duty. They're so much fun. But yeah, I'd have to say that. So, uh, Dank Dan. Dank Dan, you are freaking awesome, man. You make a lot of cool content with Star Wars. And uh, thank you for following me as well and commenting on all my LEGO Star Wars videos. It means a lot. Um, you ask top 10 Star Wars games of all time. This is kind of hard because um, I think I actually own 10 games. So here it is. We're starting at number 10 and going to number 1. So number 10 to 1 we have Force Unleashed 1 on the PlayStation 2. Uh, I used to play that game all the time as a kid. And I still love it today. The PS2 version. The Xbox 360 version is okay. Uh, Force Unleashed 2 on the Xbox 360, now on Xbox One via backwards compatibility. I love it. So much fun. Uh, Battlefront 2015. Uh, this is my least favorite Battlefront because Battlefront of no single player campaign. The offline community got shat upon, essentially. There's not much to do. I do play it every few months, just for like a few days. It can get boring fast. There's not much to do. Uh, still fun, though. Next, we have uh, Battlefront 2004, I believe, which is the very first Battlefront ever released. Um, the UI is a little weird, the, the camera's a little clunky, the movement's kind of bad, but it did was the first, it, you know, it was the first one if I could talk, and I don't know, it just gave you a lot of maps and a new, it basically allowed you to play the Star Wars campaign and Star Wars uh, battles with your friends online and offline, so it's really fun. Uh, we have Star Wars Battlefront 2 from 2005, this was uh, my first Battlefront game that I picked up as a kid, me and my friends played it all the time and still do, now that it's on Xbox One, such a blast. We have Battlefront 2 2017. Yes, I played this game offline only. I really enjoyed the single player, even though it was a little cliche. Um, and I do play a lot of the arcade mode, and uh, apparently in August we're going to be getting new offline modes, so keep a lookout for that if you play Battlefront 2 offline. I love it. Team Battle, Starship Assault, freaking awesome. I love it. Uh, we have LEGO Star Wars The Video Game, which was the first uh, LEGO game made by TT Games. So much fun, and I love it. Um, the one that started it all for my favorite game series. LEGO Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, I love this game. It basically took what people loved about LEGO Star Wars the video game and just amped it up with the original trilogy. And now we have all these other LEGO games, right? And it's awesome. LEGO Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars. This is based on the first two seasons of The Clone Wars. And now that I'm watching Clone Wars, I actually know what the hell's going on. Such a fun game. Uh, it's a bit small. You know, the, the only hubs are two Republic ships and a, one separatist ship. Still a fun game. And of course, my all-time favorite Star Wars game so far, I have not played Jedi Fallen Order or Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, it is Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. I absolutely adore The Force Awakens. Uh, I love the movie, but I also love the game. It allows you to play through the game, play through new missions like canon events, like how C-3PO lost his red arm. Sadly, it was a freaking PS4 exclusive. Um, finding out what Captain Phasma did after um, Finn and Han Solo dumped her in the trash compactor, and so many more things. We also got to experience, I think, five huge hub worlds from Jakku all the way to Starkiller Base, which I will be covering on the channel pretty soon, so keep a lookout for that. But yeah, I love the game. It's got huge open worlds. Oh, and oh man, it's big. And even comparing that to, like, the Skywalker Saga, where you can go planet to planet, this game looks freaking small in comparison. But LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens is by far the biggest Star Wars game of all time, LEGO and on LEGO, as of now, with the hub worlds and the missions and the characters and all that stuff, the customization. Um... So yeah, Force Awakens, best Star Wars game of all time in my opinion, but I love them all, man. Good good, good question. Uh, SharkDuck75, you are awesome too, man. You make great LEGO content. Um, he does a little bit of the LEGO Movie 2 video game, but he also does a lot of LEGO Worlds. And now that, sadly, LEGO Worlds is canceled, it's a bummer, um, we will not be getting any more. But SharkDuck75 is keeping the game alive by doing brick builds that he master builds himself. Uh, right now, he's covering Shark Week, and it's freaking awesome. You did a great job, man. You ask a very simple question here. What's your favorite color? This is easy. It's orange. Um, I don't know. I just always love orange. I, you know, every every kid in the world fluctuates. Oh, freaking, you know, green, orange, blue, black, yellow, red. It's always been orange for me, and uh, I think my second would be black. Orange and black. I love that color. Uh, hopefully, I can get a car one day that is orange and black. Um, so, yeah, favorite color right now is orange. It probably will fluctuate in a few weeks, but who knows. Uh, Harry Rowe, or Harry Rowe, uh, I'm going to say it's Harry Rowe, um, you ask, what is my favorite movie? This is one of the toughest questions you could ever ask me, because I'm a franchise fanatic, and I love a shit ton of movies. However, I would have to say, I don't know. I really don't know, Harry. Uh, I might have to say, I'm going to cheat, alright? I'm going to say all four Lego movies are my favorite collective film. Lego Movie, Batman Ninjago, and Lego Movie 2. 
Those are my favorite films of all time. Again, I love Legos for all ages, and those movies are just so funny. And I could defend the Lego Ninjago movie to my death, if need be. It's perfect in my eyes. And, uh, yeah, I love them all. So I'd have to say my number one movie are those four films. Um, if I really had to pick one at gunpoint here, I might have to say, like, maybe The Last Jedi, Kingsman the Golden Circle, uh, Cars 1, we'll have to see. But, yeah, as it stands right now, my favorite movie are those four movies. So sorry if you wanted a real answer, but come on, man, I'm franchise fanatic. I can't freaking pick a movie. You know me. That, that can't be done. Um, Vince Privatera asks, what is your favorite Pixar movie? This is a bit of a tough one. Um, I've always loved the Cars trilogy. I grew up on Cars 1. Man, I got all the freaking Cars toys. The Cars video game. Cars the video game is like the one of the only games I have that is not backwards compatible yet, and that never will be unless they remaster it. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of Pixar movies I like, Vince. I like, I like Cars. I like Pixar's Up. Um, Coco. The Incre Oh, dude, I freaking love The Incredibles. Uh, but I, I will have to say my favorite Pixar movie is Cars 1. Uh, not only for nostalgia's sake, but I think it's the funniest. It is the most entertaining for me to watch. I think Cars has a very likable cast of characters. And there is a lot of kind of strange lore if you really are a Pixar fanboy behind the Cars world. Uh, like I am. I'm not going to talk about that now. But yeah, uh, Cars 1, my favorite. I also really love Cars 2. I think Cars 2 is one of the most underrated movies uh, of all time, at least in the animated world. Um, I think Cars 2 is great. Cars 3 is my second favorite. So we go Cars, Cars 3, Cars 2. Um, I just love how Cars 3 treated it kind of like Logan in a way, but it was with Lightning McQueen realizing he was older and kind of passing the torch on to uh, Cruz Ramirez. But yeah, Vince, uh, Cars is my favorite Pixar movie. That's really hard too, because I love all the Pixar movies. Uh, Country Boy USA said, uh, would you be down to upload some Xbox gameplay? Um, Country Boy USA, I have been doing that. Um, you probably know this already, but I have a bunch of Lego content and a bunch of other content from the past, like Just Cause 4 and all that, and the channel. Have not seen that, check it out. Um, uh, I think it would be cool to see you play some games. Now, of course, you're talking about games that you want me to play. So, Country Boy USA, uh, please leave a comment in this video that I'm filming right now and tell me what games you want me to play in the future, and I might look into it. Um, so, yeah, that's not really a question, but he wants to know if there are any games. So, yes, uh, I'll, I'm open to game suggestions, so type them up. Uh, last one. Okay, guys, so sorry about that. Um, my camera died, so I have to do a quick cut. But the last one that I'm going to... I'm actually going to re-answer this. Uh, for Pamela Privatera, you ask, are there aliens at Area 51, lol? Now, uh, I, I quite think if you want to storm Area 51, you're not really, you're a little effed up in the head. Um, what started out as a meme and a joke online really went sour, and even the military and freaking the Area 51 officials were like, hey, you, you step foot on Area 51, we effing blow your butt up. So, um, if you are thinking about storming Area 51, if you're actually, like, serious, don't. Don't be stupid. Um, please don't be a freaking moron. However, um, you just ask comedically, are there aliens at Area 51? And I have to say, I'm going to say, uh, yeah, I'll say there are, sure. Um, I don't really believe in aliens. I don't believe in ghosts. Um, hopefully I don't get greeted by a ghost in my sleep tonight, but who knows. Um, that's just me, you know. Really, I don't believe in God. Other than that, um, yeah, so aliens. That's That's... Again, that's a bit of a hard one. I I only believe in God, and yeah, to hell with it, I believe in Santa Claus. Other than that, um, yeah, aliens in Area 51, I'm going to say there are. However, I really do believe that the only aliens that existed were in the Crystal Skull. That's just the franchisee answer. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, so Pamela, uh, sure, let's just say there are. So anyway, guys, I'd like to thank, to thank all of you guys. Pamela, Country Boy USA, Vince, Harry... Shartek75, Dank Dan, Alan, Niall, Jimmy Kitley, Joey Berry, Hamilton, Erica, and uh, Teresa Langenturn. Thank you all so, so freaking much for, you know, posting these questions. I love all of you guys so much, and please keep up the comments, keep up viewing, and I will keep up the content very, very regularly. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed all my answers. Uh, sorry if this video is long, but I do want to, you know, I had to make it long. You guys want to see a long video with me answering these questions. So that is what I did. Again, sorry I had to do a bit of a cut there in the end, but is what it is. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.